most broken strategy in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet has been found for Terra Raid Dens. Yes, you can start conquering five and six and possibly even seven stars by just doing this method. Let me introduce you to the Terra Raid Killer called Berserker. Now, I'm going to be showing you the steps to have Berserker be very powerful so that you can go into these raids and destroy everything along with anyone who is squatting up with you to do this. Step one, you want to complete your language classes in the school and talk to Salvatore. That way, after you do all the interactions, he will hand you a Galarian Meowth. Step two, what you want to do is apply an ability patch to that Pokemon that you can get dropped via five-star raids. If you have done those already, and what you're going to be doing is taking that ability patch and putting it on Glaring Me Out so that it gets its hidden ability. And you'll see that hidden ability once you evolve it into Berserker at level 28. And that hidden ability should be Steely Spirit. Now, what Steely Spirit does is basically boost the power of Steel type moves on Pokemon. And what it does is if you have four Pokemon in a party that are all Berserker and they all have Steel type moves and they're all using this ability, they are all going to be stacked on top of each other and be multiplied. And basically, when this Pokemon makes a hit, it is going to punch so hard and do a lot of damage. Step four, you want to make sure that you have the following moves. The first one that you want to have is Taunt. Taunt is going to be very important for not allowing the Terra Pokemon that you're fighting to inflict any status moves on your party. The responsibility of using Taunt is going to be on the party leader. The party leader is the one that initiates the raid, and they're the ones that have to lead off in these fights by using Taunt to start it off. That way the whole party can be safe. The second one that you're going to be having on your Pokemon is Screech. Screech is going to be very important for lowering the Pokemon's defenses. When you have a bunch of Berserkers starting to use Screech, that means you're going to get a lot of defense dropping on the opposing Pokemon, opening them up to be hit by a lot of physical attack moves. And that's when this next move comes in. This one is called Iron Head. Now, Iron Head is a physical attack move. And because it is Steel and Berserker is Steel, you're going to be getting a stab bonus on top of that move. And that stab bonus plus the Steel plus its ability, think of all the damage combined already, it's going to hit a whopping punch. So this one is standard and it must be on your Glaring Meowth. Now option four is pretty much up to you. Some people can use Metal Sound, some people will add Helping Hand, and you have other options that you can play with. But the first three moves I mentioned are very important for you to do this. If you feel like this is completely broken, make sure to go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It helps out a lot, and it shows me you guys love this content. Now, if you're at this point saying, I don't know how to get a hidden ability, I haven't done five-star raids, listen, don't worry, I got you covered. My Discord has channels literally dedicated to breeding Galarian Meowths for everyone so that you can have the hidden ability on it and you can raise it up yourselves and get it ready for battle. We also have separate Discord channel specifically just for using Berserker in raids. That way we keep Berserker raids separated from the raids that everyone else is doing in the game. So we don't interfere with that. We don't really want to create a toxic environment of just, hey, you have to be a Berserker to raid with us. You can find these channels right over here in my Discord. I will pin the Discord to the top comment, and I will also link it in the description below. Step five, what you're going to want to have on your Pokemon is a specific nature, and that is going to be Adamant. Adamant is going to increase attack and decrease special attack. And since Berserker is a physical attacker, there's no need to have special attack on that Pokemon in any sense. So if you have the nature, you're set to go. If you don't have the nature, don't worry. All you have to do is go ahead to Chansey Supplies, and just buy the mint that you need. So just go buy an adamant mint, slap it onto the Pokemon. The stat boost should show up for attack and decrease in special attack. And you're pretty much just set there when it comes to your Pokemon nature. Remember, what we're trying to do with this whole entire thing is optimize your Berserker so it can do maximum damage along with everyone else's Berserker. So you can just destroy these raids completely. Step six is basically going to be some form of EV training, but I'm not going to go into depth in this. All you want to do is go to the store and buy a power band and slap it onto your Galarian Meowth or Berserker, whatever, whatever it is at that moment, and go out into the area one. What you're going to do is you're then going to fight about 28 Flamigos. Those Flamigos will give you about plus two EVs in attack each. Once you knock all those out and you check your stats, you should see that you have maximized your attack and it's sparkling and it says it's completely maxed out. And that is a great indicator that you have finished the attack. Make sure that you're not battling anything else to mess up these EV stats. Now, if you take a look at Berserker, you can see that its biggest stat boost are in attack and defense. And what we were doing is maximizing the attack out so this Berserker can hit like a tank. Now, 
Berserker, you can see, has a little bit lower special defense and a little bit lower of HP. If you want to do the remainder EV training for this Pokemon, I suggest doing those points in HP or special defense. A great HP Pokemon to battle against are Chansey's and a great special defense Pokemon to battle against are Hoppips in Area 1. Just do those about 28 knockouts of each of those Pokemon, or depending on how you want to split it up, because there's only a certain amount of EVs you can do. But that is pretty much what you want to do. Make it a little more tankier so it can take special attack kits in these terror raid battles and have a little more HP and survivability. That's really what you want to do. Have a lot of survivability during these fights. Step seven. This one is pretty big. This is going to involve bottle caps. Now, bottle caps are basically going to max IV something, so it's going to be a perfect IV, pretty much. And this is the cheap way of doing it. Actually expensive because you're spending money to do it. But if you do have bottle caps available at the Delibird present shop and you've completed things in the game, it would be there. Go ahead and just buy them. They're 20,000 each. I believe this glaring me out that you get from Salvatore already has two perfect IVs. So you should be fine with that. Maybe just have to spend four. But if you're using a fresh one that maybe has no good IVs, then yes, you're going to have to spend about 120,000 total. So go ahead, buy that. And what you're going to do after that is fly over to the ghost town gym and walk over to this guy who is responsible for hyper training. All you got to say is which stats that you want to put it in and you'll see. Mark those stats up and just like that, now you have a perfect 6 IV hyper trained berserker ready for battle. Now, step eight, you want to go to the Delibird present shop in Lavincia and purchase a metal coat. Now, this metal coat is going to be the held item of Berserker because what metal coat does as a held item is it's going to increase the power of steel type moves. Hey, you're noticing that we've really increased steel type moves at this point with the ability, with the stab moves, with the item. It's, it's happening. We're just, we're just stacking up the attack. And we've also trained this Pokemon's attack and we're maxing out the IV in there. It's going to be great. Now, step nine is the final one. Don't worry. If you fully EV trained, all you got to do at this point is just level up as much as you can. I made an experience guide where you can battle a lot of chances or you can just go to really high end game areas in the zero zone and battle chances down below. Or you can just team up with a group of friends and take out five star raids while leveling up and they will be able to use your XL candies and all the rare candies and normal candies you have to power up the Pokemon. That way you can level it up. Remember, once you are level 100, you'll be able to take on level six raids with no problem. But please get to level 100 before going in there under leveled. You don't want to upset other players by not following that criteria. So make that part of your rule set that, hey, I'm not going to do six star raids unless I'm level 100. The best way to farm a bunch of these terror raids, five stars and six stars is pretty much by joining each other inside of the union circle. And that way you don't have to keep writing up the codes. You just stick to your group of four and you can nuke so many raids without having any problems of typing in codes every time. It's just a faster way. That's what I did when I was running through all these raids leveling up. Now, now that you basically are ready to do five and six star raids, the strat is going to work like this. The leader who starts the terror raid is going to be the first one responsible for throwing out taunt. This is turn one. While the leader throws out taunt to not allow any status effects on the party, the rest of the party is going to hit the Pokemon with Screech. This in turn will not allow that Terra Pokemon to status anyone and his defense will start to lower tremendously. On turn two, the leader of the group, the one who started it, will assess the situation and see if they have to heal everyone on the team, if they have to boost the defenses of the team, or if they can just go along with everyone and boost the attack of the team. Meanwhile, the entire team is also going to boost all their attack at the exact same time. So you've lowered the defense of the Pokemon on turn one, and on turn two, you're boosting all the attack of your Pokemon along with all the initial prep work we did to get its attack to the maximum ability and then on turn three, all players will then start to hit the opposing Terra type Pokemon with Iron Head. And you should see massive damage happening, especially if you're super effective or normally neutral against them. But usually when you lower defense, you can do a lot of work even to things you are weak against. This strategy can easily destroy five star Terra raids. And based on the Pokemon's defense, if you look it up, you can even make the assumption of just lowering the defenses and going straight into Iron Heads and skipping the whole attack boost. But when it comes to six stars, it's going to be sometimes a little bit more challenging and you have to do a lot more thinking and planning and strategizing and adapting to the situation as the fight happens because unpredictable RNG can happen during these fights. Sometimes you're going to be fighting Pokemon that you completely resist 
stereotypes, and you're going to have to plan what to do. There's going to be situations where some of your Pokemon are going to get KO'd in the fight, and you're going to have to make rapid decisions and adapt to that. So doing a lot of these Terra Raid fights will help you adjust your Berserker strategy to what you have to do, whether it be healing, boosting up defenses, attacking. These are things you'll be able to coordinate, and I think it's really good that you guys join each other in groups of four, online and discuss the strategies like i said it's in the discord now speaking of rng a big rng factor that happened to us was when we bumped into a Gallade six star fight and that Gallade pretty much nuked our entire team took out all of us luckily that Gallade was using superpower which kept lowering its defense over and over again did a job for us so as soon as we revived we just took it out and we won so there's a lot of unpredictability in these raids and over time you will be able to adapt to these strategies. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to go ahead and click on this one. You're going to get something really nice out of it.